I'd like to introduce to you PC Tran BWR5. PC Tran is a nuclear power plant simulator, and BWR5 is the fifth generation of boiling water reactor designed by General Electric Company. There are many operating in the world. At the center of the mimic is the reactor vessel. It is uh, normal, nominal 70 bar, that is about 1,000 PSI. The thermal power is 33 megawatt, it's quite large thermal. And the electric power is about 1,100. Water is pumped at the bottom of the vessel down cover, upward into a recirculation loop, and back into the down cumber, going through a nozzle that is uh, called jet pump, and that suck more water in the down cumber to the bottom of the core. Water is heated by the uh, red vertical fuels, and the control rods are inserted from the bottom. Boiled water going through a separator and dryer to the steam line enter the uh, turbine building turbine. Turbine drive the generator to generate electricity and uh, condense the steam going through a number of heaters and pumps and back to the feed water line to the down cumber. The vessel is located in the dry well. Uh, the air inside the dry well is inert. Uh, in case of a loss of coolant accident with fuel damage and hydrogen generation, uh, inert uh, dry well prevent uh, it from hydrogen burn. And in case of uh, loss of coolant accident, the dry well is pressurized by the uh, water and steam discharge that will go through the uh, vertical vent valve vent line into the suppression pool and suppression pool above the suppression pool is the so-called wet well so the mark two containment uh, is a bell shape uh, upper and lower uh, primary containment and outside the containment is the reactor building. So let's start a run. I click the uh, icon of a runner. Let's start a run and you'll see the uh, time start advancing here. And now it's a run time the uh, speed is real time, one to one. So the simulation speed is the same as the uh, reaction chain reaction uh, speed. We can click the two, four, eight, or up to, up to 16 times faster uh, in order to simulate the uh, accident faster uh, in the classroom or in pre prediction. Let's go back to it normal speed one to one. You don't see anything change because uh, the control system uh, keep the reactor pressure constant and the uh, feed water and steam control maintain the pressure and the water level in the vessel uh, in the normal operation. Suppose uh, we want to reduce the power and for BWR is controlled by the speed of the circulation pump. At full speed, uh, 1500 RPM, round per minute. Now I reduce it uh, to somewhere around 1400. You see the voice in the core increase because of the reduction of the flow inside the core. As a result, uh, the neutron absorption will be less and the uh, chain reaction inside the core 
will be reduced. You see, original of the power is 100%, now it's down to 97%. And the operator will go to a chart, and we click the view, and flux flow diagram. Vertical axis is the flux, neutron flux, in percent. Horizontal axis is the core flow, also in percent. You see, originally it's at 100 percent. Both are 100 percent. After we reduce the recirculation flow, the power go down. So the yellow operating point move to lower left. And uh, control of the flow is not the only way to adjust the power. We can also adjust the uh, insert the rods target originally is 98%. Suppose I reduce it to 91%. And uh, here's the rod speed. You see the rods will move in. Okay, you see they slowly move in and the power go down. Since we do not uh, change uh, flow this time, so the power will go down vertically in this diagram. So let's close the di diagram. And that's just the normal operation. In PC train, we can simulate all kinds of accident or transient. Here I click the more function. A menu, a list of over 20 category of accidents can be simulated. Number one is loss of coolant accident two, the steam line break, and three, steam line break outside the drywall, and four, is feed water line break. And then so many of them, it covers everything possible occur in the, in the power plant. So let's assume the largest, the, the large loss of coolant accident at the recirculation loop could be an earthquake or something damaged. And click the runner to start the run. You see, there's a large coolant loss, over 2,000 pounds per second. As a result, the pressure drop and the water level drop, the react coolant uh, reactor protection system, because of low water level, reactor shut down all the control rod, the white rods insert into the core from the bottom. Suppose we lose AC power, that stop all the uh, feed water pump and the recirculation pump. The diesel generator or emergency generator will automatically start the low pressure RHR, residual heat removal pump system. So the coolant will be pumped from the suppression pool into the reactor vessel. There are also high pressure core spray. Suck water from the condensate storage tank to the and spray on top of the uh, fuel. And there are also reactor coolant isolation cooling. That's a turbine-driven pump to supply. So there are three redundant systems that keep the core covered. And if we view the dose mimic, it gives us the containment condition. The react coolant, the upper dry well, the lower dry well, in the suppression pool, how much uh, radioactive iodine and noble gas are in each compartment. And as a result of the uh, accident, how the radi radioactive material and the gas will propagate into the reactor building, the turbine building, and the environment off-site. So this simulator 
for education or emergency planning purpose. Similarly, everything possible uh, to occur in a power plant and how do we mitigate it. So this gives you an idea and we can view the transient plots and for this event there are alphabetical order the variables let's choose the pressure of the dry well pressure of the reactor at wet well and the pressure of the uh, reactor dome okay and let's uh, Put a time span at uh, 800 seconds just to cover the entire event. You see the light green line is the reactor pressure, 70 bar or 1000 psi. At the as, as start of the accident, pipe break, it uh, drops dramatically, and now we are simulating the curves are still moving. Let's accelerate it to four times faster. You see? Or even eight times faster. See the reactor vessel pressure go down and the, the containment dry well and suppression pool pressure will go up eventually become the same, equalized to each other. So this is a brief introduction of uh, what PCGN BWL5 uh, demonstrate uh, the normal and accident constitution of a boiling water reactor. This is a brief introduction and uh, you can try that out, but the download version works only uh, five minutes or 300 seconds. So, but you can repeat it uh, try for all possible uh, condition. Thank you for attention.